important thing at the end of the day is if you enjoy doing the video at the time, mm. sincerely enjoy it and you have a good laugh doing it. Oh, you're very serious about it. We're going to come across. We have serious trouble if we do, if we shoot one scene over and over again because we lose the spontaneity and then we start getting bored and disinterested. And that's one, one thing that Dave small, um, actually got right. Yeah. Concentration level. And, Old yeah. Robbo once said that it, if, um, <laughs> if, if the camera crew didn't get us the first, the first time, second take, then. then forget it, we, right. we were hopeless. Yeah. Yeah. Depends in a lot of ways, doing, though, you know, true. I think yeah, actually right. that is the best thing you can get on film is someone performing or, you know, enjoying their performance. And yeah. that's like, you know, that's like it's better to watch a film with James Brown live than it is to watch the most dead. intricate, yeah. technical, yeah. perfect video. Another thing that was good, one good thing about Dave Robinson was that he always made, let the cameramen roll the cameras even when the scene had finished. Because a lot, you know, a lot of what was interesting was when it was, uh, you know, off camera or spon spontaneous. You get funny reactions. You, you know, when the band don't even think they're being filmed, it's quite good there. times when maybe you know you could have had some uh, excessive violence or designer violence Design yeah. violence. <laughs> well, we're not into that we like to make entertaining videos that we'd like our children to watch or us all right in the last one someone's head fell off <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, um, anyway. we didn't have all blood coming out just a few wires <laughs> she wants to go I mean, our videos have gone up. Every single video we've made has been for slightly more than the last one that we made. Mm. We started off with about five thousand pounds, I think. Two, it was. Two. Two. One yeah. plate yeah. of breakfast and one step beyond. Two thousand. No, more than that. Anyway, they went up eight, thirteen, twenty. Nine, nine thousand. No, we had those blokes with us for a week. Anyway, so anyway, anyway. anyway. <laughs> There's only three of them though. So we're not going to make another one. <laughs> Do you think it's immoral to spend a load of money on a video? Well, it's only, I think it's immoral to spend that much, really. Whose morals? Uh, I think also oh. you sort of, um, it's all to do with promoting, you know, the, the sort of um, I'm a star business. You know, a lot of, I'm sure a lot of acts want to come there and have their makeup and have their hairdresser yeah. and have loads of people saying, I mean, like, I was talking to a cameraman about an American um, musician who was over here doing a video, whom I won't mention, but he's very large. And um, he was saying, where's my motivation here? I'm walking from the car to the girl. Where's my motivation? You know, and and they, they think they're doing a, some sort of, you know, Royal Shakespearean thing, you know. I mean, it's, just the, a, you know it's just a video, you know. The cost of the video is like, you know, they'll get a stylist and they'll get someone to, you know, well, the stylist dresses them. But, I mean, we do that ourselves. Just about. <laughs> <laughs> no, we decide on something. We decide on something we're going to wear, and there you save a lot of money. And you, he goes and has a haircut the day before. It's mm. strong. Carl does all his own makeup. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
this program to bring you an important announcement. Sometimes have Suggs as a kind of narrator who's involved in the action, but he's singing a song which often works very well. And that, that was his role in that. Carl was the sort of mad general. Gun ho. And we were just sort of running around having a bit of fun with the. Uh, the idea was supposed to be based around someone who was obsessed about America, yeah, and the American army. Survivalism and all which that kind of shit. Yeah, which is sort of what the song's about. Mm. And uh, hopefully we've got a bit of that. <laughs> videos have you made? 22. <coughs> next question. Well, the next question is... 23. No. Counting bed and breakfast. 22 on counting bed and breakfast. <laughs> In a sense, that's given you an opportunity to watch yourself, well, grow older. Does that depress <laughs> you when you look back at the way you used to look compared to what you look like now? <laughs> well, so was any illusions, I'll say that. Anyway. I'm getting younger, if I mean. Yeah, I was going to say, does great, Cliff Richard but... look back on his videos and say, God, I look the same. No, I mean, it is funny, yeah, seeing mm. your life like that. But um, the, I think the thing is, I mean, I don't actually watch them that often. I haven't seen them, I mean, probably oh, once a year, maybe yeah. one or two of them. So, I mean, it's not like you're constantly comparing the past to now. Yeah, I mean, if you see maybe one step beyond on the television, you realise how much younger and fresh face we all were. I'll tell you what is frightening, seeing the prints when we first appeared on Top of the Pops. Like, you know, it's all about wide-eyed and innocent. An earthquake is erupting, but not in Orange Street. A ghost tent is preparing, you got to help us with your feet. If you're not in the mood to dance, step back, grab yourself a seat. This may not be uptown Jamaica, but we promise to entreat. 